Hey guys, big welcome back to my channel for another snow adventure. As you can see, I'm back out and about in my car today, but I did very quickly want to share with you my most recent adventure, which was another snow trip I did. So you might have seen from my latest video that I have been in Victoria. I have been exploring the high country down here for my very first Aussie snow season, making the absolute most of this very chilly weather lately. So that last video, as I said, if you haven't seen it already i will tag it up here somewhere for you you can go check it out it was at mount hotham we did go dog sledding and snowboarding and it was just a really good time staying in the lodge up there but this was another very different snow experience from falls creek so i just thought i would share that one really quickly with you guys today as well once again, this was a group trip with three of us headed up this time to Falls Creek, which is another Victorian beautiful alpine area and ski resort. This one, however, was only a day trip to go snowboarding, so I'll try and keep it short and sweet, but show you some of the beautiful scenery along the way. Now to start the trip, we had to actually get the crew together. This meant I got to see these beautiful fur babies before we hit the road. Super cute, I absolutely love dogs, so that was a little bonus to the morning for me. Anyway, we packed up the gear pretty much the same as last time with snowboards for the three of us ready to go. Once again, mine was borrowed, so I am very grateful for that and to be tripping around with friends instead of in the i30 for a little bit of a change. The scenery was absolutely beautiful on the way out and unfortunately my passenger seat filming does it no justice whatsoever but if you're down in the area or even headed through within the next couple months I'd really recommend taking a scenic drive at the least because the snow caps on the mountains are really just so special to see right now. So like the previous trip, we made a quick stop off for chains. There really wasn't any snow on the road, but it's still a fair safety precaution and legal requirement to have them for all the Alpine mountains during the declared snow season, which is at least a few months over winter, depending on the actual snowfall. Quick stop again for snacks, because obviously that's a road trip essential, and then actually headed up the mountain to Falls Creek. Being a weekend, it was fairly busy on the road, but nothing too hectic. Now, unlike Hotham, Falls actually has a booth or checkpoint to check and print passes if you need to talk to someone, not just a camera. You do need a vehicle pass to enter at either of the resorts, but Hotham just seems to be more managed online. Anyway, here's our first snow for the day on the sides of the road, not long after that, and here is the actual Falls Creek Snow Village, ready for us to hit the snow. If you can't tell already just by the jackets and layers alone, let me tell you the weather on the day was absolutely crazy, and I'm not even exaggerating because the whole time we were there, I don't think the mountain got above negative 3 degrees, not to mention the wind chill and total fog white out throughout the day. It was a really cool and different experience, but definitely put into perspective how good we had it with the weather on the Hotham trip and just how quickly the weather can change on the mountains. I did spend more time inside this time, which was actually pretty nice given how bad the weather was. So I thought I'd give you a look also at the actual village at Falls Creek and how you can get out of the weather. Obviously come summer this will all be closed again, but seeing as I did visit a few months prior and well before the snow, I thought I'd show you what that looks like as well. Still a pretty cool place to walk through, no snow but much clearer and part of a really great scenic drive loop throughout the Falls Creek area. Again, this is old footage, but if you do wait for summer the scenic drive is absolutely beautiful. You'll be able to access this lake. I believe there's even a rowing club there, along with a whole bunch of lookouts, walking trails, creeks, and even this beautiful waterfall on the way out of the park. Anyway, back to the winter trip, 
Obviously the ski lift and businesses are operating and there are an awful lot of great snowboarding and ski runs to be found throughout the area. This is just on the bottom of the Wombats Ramble Run. It's an easy graded slope which runs back to the main village and was honestly so busy being a weekend but cleared out more as the bad weather came in. I did also find this little empty slope off to the side to practice some basic turns and I met some other beginners who helped me out a bit which was pretty cool seeing as I am still getting used to the board. He eventually caught back up with friends. This is my mate trying out a little jump on one of the final runs, which he did end up nailing by the end, so that was pretty cool as well. Then finally back down the mountain on dark. Unfortunately a bit of a shorter trip, but still a really fun one out in the snow. So there you go guys, I'll just wrap up that very last adventure from Falls. As you saw, it was still a great trip, a little bit of a shame about the weather, but I wanted to share it with you regardless to show you the difference from that first Hotham trip where we had awesome weather, awesome day, still an awesome day at Falls, but just a totally different experience and a different place. So I hope you did enjoy seeing that. I'm going to head myself off now. I'm headed off for a walk before it does rain on me. But once again, I hope you enjoyed it and I will have some more snow content for you soon.